It is food week at our raw material. I am Tavish Cardiff, so let's focus on the food pillar. Close your eyes or not, get comfortable with some breathing, and let's start thinking and sinking into the idea of our belief system, our mental structure. Food week is about food, absolutely, but also all of the different ways that we're nurtured, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically. The first two pillars, mentors and music, kind of come together in formation of our mental structure, of our belief system. So it comes from the things that we get from our inner guidance and the things that our mentors have taught us, mentors and tormentors have taught us. So food, the food pillar is really about figuring out what areas we were nourished, overnourished, undernourished, and if there was a time in life where we ever experienced lack in any of those areas, you know, even emotional, um, even a lack of emotional support is akin to not having nutritional support. These are essential parts of who we are and the support of our own creativity and ability to feel connected to something outside of ourselves. So the way that we hold our belief system does a lot to inform the way that we relate to the world at large, to society, to the people around us, and how we accept ourselves. So if we find ourselves palatable, it's going to be a lot easier for us to walk into a room than if we look in the mirror and feel some sort of insecurity about who we are, that's going to make it a little harder to show up as authentic vulnerable selves. The food pillar is really about what we believe and if we have negative beliefs about ourselves it's a space that we're, we can work to shift them or change them. We can take these these limiting beliefs and find ways to untangle them or see where they came from, see if they're still valid for us and you know just find a way to kind of like to get in between the fibers and that energetic vibration and just shift it up so that our mind holds things a certain way but our body takes in that breath and all of a sudden the things that we mentally know we can figure out where we stored them in our body we can find the place to breathe so that you know the things that we have been taught to believe I like the phrase I don't know but I've been told and I think so much of our belief systems come from being told certain things over and over again that that's what we believe. Truth, if we really look around, is what anybody believes. We can find some support of our truth when we go looking for it. And that's an insightful statement. I get that. But I want to challenge everyone to challenge their own beliefs and to feel really solid by vetting out, you know, even the strongest of our beliefs and making sure that they still serve us. As we lean into the food pillar this week, if you're in a position to help people who don't have food to actually eat, right there is a good start. You know, the literal meaning of food week is the idea and hope that we all get nourished in the way that we need to to support our creative expression in the world. If we aren't in a position to help other people eat, you know, it's really kind of cool that the day one of food week this time coincides with the 4th of July. And as we celebrate today and through the week, realizing that there are a lot of people out there not even in a position to celebrate. There are people, you know, working to just eat that day that don't get to understand what the day means in the same way that those celebrating do. And then I think there are a lot of people who, you know, have certain feelings about the politics or the, the actual celebrating of this day of our becoming a country in the United States might not be as celebratory as it, an occasion as it used to be. You know, maybe it's time to take a pause and think about our responsibility as whatever we see as our civic duty as ourselves as an American um, or as you know if you're not an American the way you look at America there's so many ways to 
approach the pillar of food week and it's all based on what we believe what our own belief system tells us and you know just how we can accept and allow someone else's belief system to exist in the exact same room with us and and still be an opposite opinion i know we're all working on that right now and it's a it's a tough time to be in the space of challenging our own beliefs when there are so many things that make us defensive. So this week, focus on the triggers, focus on how we can feed the areas where we get defensive and we, where we can expand our own belief system to allow just a little more space for the uh, energy of other opinions while also you know getting that heart around our own not just not just our mind around it but really pulling it into the body breathing it having it be uh, every fiber of our being and our cells and all the good stuff happy food week i encourage you to develop a healthy relationship with the food pillar regardless of what your relationship with food is because as soon as we relate to this particular pillar honestly we start to see the roots of everything we think and believe fall into place and we're able to handle the nurturing that maybe we didn't get at some other point in our lives really take care of ourselves now have a great week And we'll see you next week as we dive into my favorite pillar, ignorance.